Um, so basically, I was finally able to uh, get the looks and the feel of uh, my Linux Mint the way I wanted it to be. Um, so last night, basically, what I just what I did was just try to install um, Linux Mint, Rufy, Ranger, Tilix, Conky, as well as uh, configure Conky and Plank. So this and um, just this morning, um, I installed other things. Uh, you know, actually, I already forgot what some of the things that I installed. Um, I just tried to try to recall them along the way. So, uh, but one of the things that I actually installed was uh, uh, this one new fetch. I also tried to add it in my uh, uh, bash.rc, which can be located in here. Uh, bash rc. Okay, so I actually added um, new fetch. There's this line, so let me just try to comment it out. Uh, added by uh, SHL. Okay, so I just added this line uh, in order for me, in order for a uh, new fetch to uh, run uh, every time I open my terminal. I also added. Um, as you've noticed, when I try to launch my my uh, terminal, um, there's uh, the the title bar is uh, uh, no longer um, visible. So what I basically did was try to add um, a deconf editor. Okay, so I added this one deconf editor. Although I, I wouldn't um, suggest. So that you also do this one okay so a uh, deconf editor for editing your settings so uh, one of my problem by the way is every time I try to relaunch my uh, uh, terminal uh, the, the the menu bar would, would still be there even if I'm going to uh, just uh, set it uh, as hidden so what I basically did was try to get an application I tried to research about an application that I could use so I have here um, deconf editor so in order for me to answer, in order for you guys, if you want, if you're interested, what you can basically do is just try to um, issue sudo app install um, the con dash editor. I'm also going to add the, the, the applications as far as I can remember that I use uh, to uh, improve the looks of my uh, desktop. So I'm also planning to replicate um, currently the this particular looks on my laptop so I already installed um, Linux Mint so maybe tonight or maybe by tomorrow um, I will be able to finish it out uh, what else are some of the things that I did um, I, okay so I also added this one um, okay. I also added uh, I also edited um, Rofi okay so as you've noticed um, Rofi uh, okay, this I already edited the oh, okay. So as you've noticed, um, it's already green. Um, the background color or the highlighted color is already green. Okay, there's no icons. Uh, there's no icons yet. I would rather have it something like this. Okay, so uh, again, um, if uh, if you wanted um, to edit Rofi, what you can basically do is you can uh, try to uh, edit this file open it up for you guys cd dot config sorry config then we have here the folder Rofi, let's try to get inside Rofi, CD Rofi. Okay, let's try to check. Um, then nano config that Rofi. Okay, so this is my configuration file, my Rofi configuration file. I just made some uh, minor adjustments to it, minor um, alterations to it. Uh, just, just try to uh, base it on my own preference again. Okay, so how was I able to load it? Uh, um, 
along with my uh, other application. So uh, basically, we have here two files. We have config the trophy and we have config. So if I were to open um, config, config that, let's try to show you guys, config that, okay, so I open config. Now, um, as you've noticed, there's two uh, lines of code. Um, the first one actually is to try to com try to comment. Um, let's open another terminal. Mm. So we show D run. Okay, so this is the default Rofi theme. Um, this is actually uh, this one. Which can be found in the user share Rofi themes lv.rasi. So what I just basically did was just, was just try to copy this file inside my config, or the contents of this lv.rasi, or the default. Um, and this is not actually the default, but lv.rasi to my um, config that Rofi. Okay, so. Um, okay, wait. So if I were to re revert it back, okay, sorry, try to revert it back. I will normally do that. Okay, so this is basically the location of my uh, config. This is my uh, user defined um, configuration. Let's try to put comments. User defined configuration of Rofi. Okay. And say to go back here again, say to run. Okay, so um, that's it. So, uh, so uh, I'm also going to share with you guys the config file of my Rofi, um, just in case you're interested. Uh, then one more thing, uh, I also did some um, tweaking up with my terminal. Okay, so let's try to. Okay, um, I basically, what I basically did was just try to, uh, um, get the co uh, code here. Okay, so let's try to see bash c bash dash c um, dollar sign I'm to get c HTTPS get that I dash B Q G M R. If it's not going to work, just go to open. Um, okay, you can get it to work. So let's try to open Firefox. Um, so I to use HTTPS um, GitHub. Uh, make call go. Okay, so I made a mistake on the spelling. And this is it. This is where I actually got the theme for my um, terminal. So, what I basically did was just try to copy this one. Let me just try to show you what I did. Um, let's try to copy this part. Um, it's a bit twitchy. Copy. Let's try to paste. Okay, so these are all of the themes or terminal themes that we can that 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 we can see. So currently I'm using Monohy Dark. Okay, let me try to show you. Um, let me try to show you. I have here Monokai, Monokai. Here. Monohy dark. Okay. 
So that's one to one. All you have to do is, by the way, is just try to enter um, the number here. So in my case, one two one again. That's it. So we have your theme monokai dark. Profile already exists. Skipping. Okay. So because it's already there. Um, if I were to open my uh, their their website or their uh, get get page, um, you can see some of the previews. Uh, the preview here. Okay. Uh, just click here. Then um, these are all the themes that have been downloaded. Okay. So the, uh, this is um, one, two. Just check scroll up until um, uh, 121. Um, number 121 um, and the image 121 okay but uh, let's say for example you wanted to use this one but after this is this is number six then you can just maybe try to write number six okay. so what else did I do um, okay another one is um, by default uh, let me just try to show you also uh, Up here, I'm just going to replicate what I did. Uh, panels. Now, by default, um, you have to try to create a new panel. I'll put here on top. Okay. Now, this is the default um, panel settings of uh, panel location of um, of uh, Linux Mint. Although the, the fonts here currently being is quite big, so I just try to um, re, 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 uh, reset it. Troubleshoot, troubleshoot um, restore all settings to default. We can do that also. Let's say, for example, you you, you deleted this uh, panel. What you can basically do is you can just try to right click, then you have your troubleshoot, then we have here um, restore all settings to default. Okay, so <laughs> you will be asked, are you sure you want to restore all settings to default? Click yes. Okay, so automatically it will be um, placed back here at the bottom. Okay, so um, if you want actually to delete, what I basically, uh, what I did was just try to delete, uh, I tried to remove, because I already have my uh, roofie, so I don't need this uh, uh, menu bar anymore. So um, right click. You uh, right click here, and I try to remove. Okay. Then you you don't have any panel settings. You want to open panel settings? No. Okay. So that's it. Um, <coughs> I also added this one. Um, before when I, I still don't have this uh, conky, I would normally use um, bash top. Uh, BP, I forgot, BP, it's BP top, it's not bash top, it's BP top. Okay, so BP top actually is a cool application also, system monitor applications, application. So, um, I also added this one, although I, I don't have any use for it yet. Um, but it's just uh, good to have it with, with me. So, this, this, that's it. So, it's just there. Um, maybe I can put it here. That's it. Okay, so that's how I uh, finally was able to do my desktop. Uh, to do my um, desktop. Although um, I st still am going to install my uh, other applications such as um, my uh, Visual Studio Code, my XAMP. Uh, I get. Uh, I uh, get desktop or desk, uh, yeah, get desktop and so on. Um, but more or less, this is how my um, uh, this is how I wanted my uh, desktop to look and feel. Okay, so that's it.